so this is a voiceover of pretty much what I was saying right at this point in time, but the wind was pretty strong and it was hard to hear me. So, but I was, uh, saying that I feel like I had an epiphany. Well, I, I had an epiphany, my own personal epiphany, um, on why homelessness exists, you know, or why it's gotten as bad as it's gotten or, you know, st- something like that. And I just want to say before I say it, it's just an opinion. It's, it's my personal opinion. It doesn't mean I'm right. Um, I just think it's definitely a part of it for myself. And it's okay if you disagree. And uh, I mean no judgment on anybody. And I don't blame anybody either for doing what I'm about to say. But um, because I was the same exact person, you know, I, I did the same exact thing, um, you know, until I experienced homelessness myself and, you know, realized that they're all just people, you know, just like you and me, some good, some bad, just like in the, you know, just like in everyday people, you know, there's, there's good and bad and everywhere you go. So just because you're homeless doesn't mean you're you're, you're good or bad, you know, it's just, uh, it is what it is. So without further ado, I feel like, uh, let me ask a question, I guess. Have you ever seen a homeless person on the street and thought to yourself, eh, why doesn't someone do something about that? Why doesn't, why doesn't the city do something about this? You know, they, they don't belong here. Why has this gotten so bad in my city? You know, questions like that. You know, I, I've, I've probably had all of them and more. And I think that's a big reason why homelessness persists to be a problem and continues to grow. Because somewhere along the lines over the years, we got comfortable with you know, saying, you know, someone else should be taking care of that. You know, I pay my taxes. I, I'm a law-abiding citizen. Why isn't the city taking care of it? You know, and I believe that it's actually us that need to take care of it. It's every one of us who have asked, those, asked ourselves those questions. Because, you know, we can do something. Each, one, each and every one of us can do something. And it doesn't have to be big. You know, you don't have to buy someone a home and now they're not homeless. You just have to do something small, you know, and it starts small. It's not going to change overnight, the problem. Um, it's just a, something, you know, where it's just treat them like a human being. You know, they may be sick human beings. You know, some might be sicker than others, you know. But just, you know, the, just treating them like a human being with kindness, you know, love, patience, whatever it may be, you know, it goes a long way. You know, saying, hey, how's your day going? Something like that. Like not being afraid to look at them and smile, you know, when you see them on the corner, holding the sign. S- simple stuff, a wave, a thumbs up, God bless you, whatever, whatever it may be. You know, you don't have to give money. You you just give what you want to give, you know? Give what you feel like giving. It feels good. It feels good to give, you know? But I think one of the best things you can do is, you know, you know your local homeless. You've you've seen them. You've probably seen the, the same person on the same corner, you know, multiple times. And, you know, make an effort to say hi to that person. Find out their name. Ask them, you know, hey, what's your story? You know, don't be afraid to. Because these people, they're, they just, they just want to be, you know, treated like any other human being. They know where they're at. They know they don't look so hot. You know, they're doing their best. So, anyways, enough of my soapbox. But this bridge that I'm crossing over and I'm uh, filming right now. It's a little hard to see, but it's kind of like Santa Maria's Skid Row. 
and I'm only saying that because it's the only place I've seen like it so far. I know there's other places that have a lot of homeless people, but in this wash, there's a ton of tents, you know, like tent city. And uh, on my way up, I actually uh, met somebody uh, by the name of Froggy. Um, you're gonna see this gate um, in just a minute here. I'm gonna be pulling up to it and you're gonna see some something really cool happen right afterwards. But anyways, I was, I was coming, you know, up north and uh, there's a little gate where I couldn't even get my bike and trailer through, so I had to take it apart. And this other lady had to do the same, so I helped her out. And this guy's like, oh, you're a gentleman, gentleman and a scholar. <laughs> He's like, where, what's your story? Where are you coming from? And I said, oh, I'm coming from Oxnard, going to San Francisco, or at least trying. Then he's like, oh, man, you're staying with me tonight. <laughs> so I, uh, it, it was cool. His name was Froggy. I told him thank you, but, you know, I think I'm going to keep on rocking forward. But I'm going to let you watch this part of the video because I thought it was really cool. And everything I just said in this voiceover is what I said before this happened. So it was just kind of ironic, you know. These people that you're about to see, are the people that probably also have the same questions. Why is this happening? But they actually did something. So check it out. What's up? What'd you guys need? Oh yeah. Oh, no problem. That's nice. That's nice to see you guys. From a foundation or a church or? I can help you guys out if you want. No, I mean I can help you out. Uh, like take it down, take it down. Take a slight left turn. mission up and down the entire west coast oh, California you? yeah oh, so nice. doing a YouTube it's uh, called another good day oh great so, great well, I wish you well thank you uh, have a blessed day um, yeah trip <laughs> yeah no let me so let I, me help you I'll keep this straight for this you is, uh, oops I'm sorry I moved oh, no, you're good, you're good. okay it's a uh, it has a mind of its own it's fallen so many times Do you want me to keep, oh, okay. I was gonna say, you want me to keep the back map? No, you're good. Yeah, it's just a, I got it on uneven ground, so it's oh, okay. a little messed up. There. How long have you been on this? So it's my uh, super sport bike. Oh, wow. I'm back home right now uh, for a camp from Oxnard. Oh, yeah. To uh, uh, Bismo. And then, uh, I'm headed back, and I'll, each time I stop in, I, I basically just feed the homeless, get to, try and get to know them. Oh, that is so sweet. Yeah, we're through Coast Valley Church. That's awesome. Yeah, and we do this every Thursday okay. and everything. And they get, um, the um, Chick-fil-A, they donate their chicken to us and everything. And we cook it at the church and everything and bag it and do the whole thing. And 
every Thursday we're out here giving to everybody. That's so cool. Yeah. Is so. this like the main area where most of the... Um, we try to save at least 30 right here, okay. but we've passed out already oh, okay. through the town already. Yeah. That, and this is our last stop. Whatever we can, we don't reach out there, yeah. then we reach here. You so. say it's Coast Valley Church? Coast Valley Church. Okay, you guys do it every Thursday? Every Thursday. Oh, if you, you know... If um, I, can I volunteer? Oh, yes! Yeah. If you ever want to go yeah. by, we're more than happy to have you. Hey, no I, can, I can deliver in this thing. Yeah, see? Yeah, you, know? yeah, you can. Yeah. yeah, and like I said, we make... Today we made close to 200. <laughs> Yeah, so, and we take some to the Salvation, too. That's besides our 200. Okay, yeah. So, wow. yeah, so, <laughs> so, yeah, but we love it. We love helping everybody, and it's just a blessing. Oh, for, yeah, you know, oh, it feels great. It feels great, and, you know, it's, we're doing, you know, her yeah. helping others. Exactly. You can't know, help themselves. You're being a service to, right. to, to a fellow human beings. Exactly. So, so, yeah, no, we'd be, what's your name? Dan. Yeah. Dan, I'm Alice. Alice, nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. yeah, I mean, we're, like I said, I will. I will definitely. If you do it every Thursday, yes. Uh, then I'll, I'll. When I come back up this way, yes. I will definitely Coast Valley Church. I'm gonna put it in my yes. Afterwards. And we start at eight o'clock in the morning. Okay. We're there. Right. So well, I will, I will come a day or two before. Yeah. It's, it's oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, and okay. actually, on Tuesday we do food distribution there. Okay. So I'll be here all week. Eight o'clock. <laughs> eight o'clock. So cool. everything's eight o'clock. So if you want to visit us at um, Tuesday or Thursday. Yeah. You're more, we'd be more than welcome to okay. have you. Well, just sure. give me a heads up. I'm going, so from here, once yeah. I get to Oxnard, then I'm going to San Diego. Okay. And then from San Diego, I'm going all the way back up to Oregon. Oh, so okay. I'll, oh. I'll probably be here in like four months. Okay. The, the week that I am here, I'm, yes. I, you got me. And you're so, from Oregon? No, oh, I lived up there Original. for a little bit. No, but oh. I'm, I'm from California. Oh, are you from yeah. California? Oh, okay. I'm just, uh, I'm planning on doing this full time. So when I get to Oregon, I'll, oh, I'll nice. continue. I'll just, you know. Like, that, you know. Yeah. Maybe you'll need a partner one of these days and I'll be I just with you. Might, you know, like I'm already gaining a big following. So. Yes, I'm sure you do. You yeah. do, yeah. That'd be great, yeah. yeah. Well, you know what? A blessing to meet you, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah. a blessing to meet you yeah. as well. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry, it was Alice, right? Alice. Okay, good. Yeah. I'm just think yeah. Wonderland. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> awesome. Okay, well, I better let you go on your own away and oh, I'm so just nice going to be waiting. Yeah. So nice to meet you too. Yeah. You have a blessed trip. And, and just absolutely be safe. yes yes i'm gonna okay coast valley church i'm gonna put it on my phone yeah. and then um uh tuesdays and thursdays yes sweet yes. all right alice all right. You take care. yeah you as well thank you <laughs>